Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video we're going to talk about uh, a term that as a business manager you may not necessarily have heard um, in this context, but technologists have heard of it and, and a lot of the technology companies are very, very aware this is happening. And the term is shadow IT. So we're going to talk about what's called shadow IT, and for a business manager, you probably already know this concept, but you may not have heard the term. Think about it like this. When you move into a new market, you move into an adjacent market, you acquire a company, um, you decide to, to move into a new uh, product space, right? A lot of times as you go to market, you may realize, well, as a whole, as our company, we're not entirely prepared to take on that adjacency. It's a new space for us. So what people tend to do is they may have the main part of their business, how they go to market, their marketing, their sales organization, and then in a lot of cases, they'll create what they'll call like an overlay team, right? And that overlay team is going to have domain expertise. They're going to be focused on uh, really going after this new market, really seeding the new market, really kind of providing the, the forward uh, push, if you will, as a use a you know, military analogy, sort of the forward push. It's an overlay, which a lot of times sales organization will understand. But really what it says is, I want to get into new, some new spaces. My, the, the main DNA of my organization uh, you know, may not necessarily be prepared for this, but it's really where my business needs to go. Well, this same concept is happening in technology, right? And I'll call it shadow IT because that's what the IT industry tends to call it. But in a lot of cases, for business managers, what it really means is this idea that I want to go into a new business, right? I, I have an idea of how to get into a new business, into a new market, um, and my technology group today isn't set up to do that. My marketing group today may not be set up to do that. But I've got an urgency to where I want to go to drive my business. This is, you know, I want to get into a new business. And so what often happens with business leaders is they'll say, you know what, I have a route. I could go this route that goes through my traditional IT organization. They help me set up applications. They help me set up environments. Um, but not really prepared to do that today. They don't have the skill set. We're sort of, you know, kind of making them, asking them to do different processes than they did today. I mean, it doesn't totally align to the way they're organized or funded. And so a lot of times what they will do is they'll sort of create their own version of a sort of a new IT, or what's sometimes called shadow IT. And what this means in a lot of cases is that they're going out and they are um, funding out of their business unit, out of their budget, technologists, right? And, and they're saying, look, I need you to develop an iPhone app for me, develop an Android app for me, because I want to go after something new. I want you to run a short-term marketing campaign. We're going to do something uh, around the Super Bowl. We're going to do something around a holiday. We're going to do something around some event that's happening. We want to be tied to that, but I only need it for three months. I need it for six months. I really, I need a, I want to prototype an application for a mobile device, whatever that might be. And in a lot of cases, this is called shadow IT, right? It's done outside of the auspice of traditional IT. Um, it's not necessarily done as a kind of a, to, to poke them in the eye, but it's just, you know, our business needs and our business time frame is really, really fast. So what I would almost encourage uh, business users to do, and sometimes some folks will say, wow, this is, you know, violating IT, but this idea of building up expertise to how to react very, very quickly, leverage things like mobile, which we talked about earlier, leverage ecosystems, right, so be able to do things at greater scale or with greater leverage, and be able to do that at what we call it scale, right, be able to do it so it scales up and scales down, and we typically find in these environments is they're not trying to do bad things, they're trying to do things that immediately meet business needs, right, and I would encourage folks to look at this, you now maybe it's an IT organization doing it as part of a, you know, an outside portion of their organization, the business groups figuring this out because ultimately what's going on is this is about this is about competitiveness for your business this is about differentiation for your business and it's worth understanding what are other what are other companies doing what are your competitors doing what are other best practices in this market and really what we tend to find is that they leverage cloud computing technologies right sort of on demand technologies they're leveraging newer, younger, more modern development environments, younger programmers, people that, that want to go very, very quickly. So um, some people tend to look at sort of shadow IT as being a bad thing. Um, I think if you're a business manager, you really want to look at this as, as an opportunity. It's an opportunity that's going to allow you to move faster today. It's an opportunity to learn 
uh, take best practices, learn, and bring them back to the business? What worked? What's a lighthouse for doing things right? And potentially, it becomes a way to come back to your IT organization with all of its policy and its security models and its compliance models and say, hey, you know, there are some new ways we can do this. It's going to help us move quicker. So a uh, little bit different way of looking at shadow IT or sort of an overlay for a business need, um, but something to take a look at. There's a lot being written up in the press today. Some of it's being thought of as like, well, keep it behind closed doors. But I think what we're going to find is that really savvy business leaders, people that realize that I have to move quickly, that there are resources available today out on the internet, that there are development organizations that can help me today, um, are going to take advantage of these. And I think we need to stop looking at this as being a bad thing and start looking at it as being an opportunity that we really want to get our arms around. So um, again, the term that's often used in the IT industry is shadow IT. Uh, the term is typically used by um, you know, business leaders as sort of a fast track team, a lighthouse team, a tiger team, whatever. Um, so worth definitely taking a look at there are options out there today to leverage technology to help you get into new markets, help you reach your customers faster, um, and there's ways to do that that may not necessarily break your bank as a business leader. Something to take a look at. Thanks, and hope you enjoy the rest of the videos.